basically when you have a diverse group of people in any conversation, you have a broader range of ideas and a broader way to solve problems. Do your plans and actions seem stale? I try to make them every day, but they just never come out how I want them to. I tried to make the plans, but I always messed up when I was trying to mix them with the actions. Well then, try these! From the makers of Plans and Actions comes Goals and Priorities, a great addition to your day. Once you make your goals and priorities, just take them and add them to your plans and actions. Wait a minute. How do I know which ones are the goals and which are the priorities? Why, that's the best part. It's completely up to you. A lot of times when we talk about the things we're hoping for or wish to accomplish, we call them goals. Uh, Short-term goals, long-term goals, things that are important. Recently I was listening to a podcast where the financial advisor talked about preferring the word priorities over goals. Priorities was a helpful word for me because it brought about more immediate, in-the-moment um, focus of my wants and needs. Feelings like feeling safe or secure, um, stable, um, having feelings about the ability to help others, it's a very immediate thing. Focusing and becoming aware of your priorities can really shape your day's plans and actions. With most of us, short-term goals and priorities will get a lot of our plans and actions during the day. But if you make it a habit of thinking about long-term goals and priorities on the daily, um, you start making actions towards them more regularly. Don't get too discouraged if for the longest time all you do is think about them and don't actually take action, but at least you're making the plans. If some of those long-term priorities start becoming a constant part of your thoughts um, and maybe even a stress, it's time to take action. budget for anticipated things and an emergency fund for the truly unexpected can end dependence on credit cards.